Hello, rail fans. We had been down North Jacksonville, Callahan, and folks didn't have seen a thing all day. So we decided to come on to the house. The only train we've seen today, sitting on the side at Ruskin. Valdosta, just the same way we're going. Here's the engine. We finally caught up to the engines and decided we would get ahead of this rascal and we would get down there and wait on him. So we found us a spot and um, we got a good shot of him. spot it was right close to the track and it was uh, just off the main main highway and a little small drive it's a, it looked like a driveway but it's it's actually a road and uh, we uh, we like it because it's uh, right by the track and it's track speed trains. We love the sounds they make. And we like the, um, I, I know it's vandalism, but we like the graffiti too. There's, uh, there's some talented people out there. If they could just get it on some kind of medium uh, that they could pass on and sell, it would be awesome. spot and decided we would get ahead of him again. We, this time we decided to get down on the curve in Savannah Avenue. Uh, that's kind of a neat place. It's a very good spot to get off the road and it's right on the curve that comes out from under the um, overpass and gets back onto the straightaway. Uh, Valdosta had to move that track from downtown through the uh, and route it through the overpass for traffic and so Right there on the curb is a great place. Uh, it's, it's out of the way and it's safe, and it's just um, you can, it's just you got a curb shot, and I like that. I have had a couple of people from church ask me if I was breaking the law of speed and trying to get to the front of those trains, but um, I'll assure you, we stayed right there at the speed limit, and. Um, I'm not going to say that we hadn't gone off the speed limit, but um, most of the time I have to be careful and just have my speed on cruise control and that way I can, um, I can handle the camera without having to worry about pressing the gas pedal too. And, uh, I'm sure if holding a cell phone is against the law, then I'm sure holding a 4K camera, that probably fits the bill too. But we'd say it's for navigational purposes only because we're trying to see through the lens to make sure we're in the lane. Maybe that'll pass. I know you had to see that car break the law going through the down uh, crossing gates. 
never a police around. They always seem to be one up. As long as we chase this train, we never did get the boat number, but I know that he's going northbound, so he has to be going Thomasville, Cambridge, Dothan, Montgomery, and who knows where beyond there. Also say to rail fans that uh, the curves generally produce a uh, wheel squeal, and this curve is not so bad. Uh, there's one in Callahan where it comes off the uh, the sub that comes from Baldwin, and you better have earplugs there because I mean it's it's real. The squeal is real, and it will make your eardrums vibrate. when we do these videos to keep it from blowing your speakers out. At the same time, it's um, even with our camera set at uh, minus 20 decibels, and um, you know, you're right here at the track, you're right next to it, the sound is very loud, and so um, I'm sorry if it uh, causes your speakers to be overrun a little bit, but we do thank you. We thank all of you that watch our videos and watch them all the way to the end. Appreciate a, a like if you subscribe, that'll be great too. Um, notifications, that's up to you. You can have your inbox so full of notifications, so I understand if you don't do notifications, but uh, like and subscribe really does help us. And we appreciate all the viewers we've had, and uh, until next time.